everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part two of Let's Play Mr. Nuts, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, well, I'm glad you guys are all still here after the first episode, which begs me to question why audience retention for this Let's Play is still decent compared to uh, others. Once they get to part two, that's when most viewers give up. At least that's what I've noticed. My jump was delayed again. Maybe the batteries in this controller are running low. But that's weird, because I've had them... <sighs> I was not holding right the whole time, that was just bull. What is the point of going up here, anyway? Like, what is this? Oh, okay, you can get force fields in this game. So if you really want to, you can just plow through, like, every enemy in the entire level. Except for that, that dude holding a hammer. Because, you know, apparently he's immortal for being inside a tree. Hey, gotta get them skill points, y'all. Because apparently that matters. If you want to get some extra lives and stuff. Oh my god, there's a scarecrow. What is that bird gonna do? Tell me it wasn't gonna try to poop on me. I don't like being pooped on, okay? I feel like I need to clarify that. Okay, so I was like checking out on sites like GameFAQs to figure out like uh, the real reason why you would need to collect all the coins in a level. Like, does it have a purpose? You know what I found on GameFAQs? How you can enter cheater mode using a second controller. I do not have a second controller. So obviously, guess what I'm not using? And you know what? I'm not a little bitch. So I'll do this legit, y'all. Mr. Nuts is a real man's game, okay? Hmm. Is that a button? I don't know. It is a button. Well, I, I just missed everything. Okay. Why is it sometimes I can make that jump and sometimes I can't? Well, either way, we can get over here now. This will go towards my level percentage. Because that's the only thing those coins are for. And I noticed that my uh, acorns or nuts are gone from the previous world. That is not cool. Oh, wow. That's one way to get brain damage. I wonder what these buttons are gonna do for me. Will they help me clear the level? Ugh. So far they haven't steered me wrong. Okay, that's kind of suspect. I'm just gonna say that much. And I don't like it. Scarecrows throw their own heads at you. There was gonna be a hammer coming out of that hole, I can just tell. Why does it look like there are skulls on these tiles? Well, they don't hurt you. Okay, that's good to know. Is it safe to go down here? Oh, apparently it is now. Oh. oh, okay, that was the exit. There was no sign there, so I couldn't tell. Which leads you to believe that Mr. Nuts actually is a literate squirrel. He is also a literal squirrel. Okay, good thing I didn't just drop down there blindly. Okay, that was a little treacherous, not gonna lie, but it is makeable. Okay, so these ladybugs are basically the fairies from the previous world. They have the exact same movement pattern. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, whoa, okay. 
almost took like an, an extra hit for no reason. Well, I guess that ladybug is the reason, but you know. Let me have my moment here. I'm a squirrel. Squirrels are allowed to have their moments, okay? If not, Pia, gonna be on your ass. Oh, oh. Well, how was I supposed to do that safely when it comes to timing and all that? He, he just huffs and puffs like he's gonna be out of air so quickly. Oh, woo -hoo -hoo. there's an aerial Disney bird. You're not getting any of this. Apparently, you can run in midair. I don't think that's how physics is supposed to work, but okay. There are like some parts of the game where it's almost impossible to clear if you don't have nuts. Especially when it comes to those, uh, those bugs with spikes on them. Alright, so far this is going pretty well. Find the golden key to enter the house. Good luck! Oh, look, it's for losers, okay? That scarecrow actually has a different color. Oh, you can swing in this! That is kind of bull, and you all know it. Like, what was I supposed to do there? Wait? You know, actually take your time in a platformer? Who does that? Right, that, that moth was able to hit me. Okay, there's something st sticking out in the upper left corner. I don't know what that is. Oh! It's one of those types of mechanics where you have to grab the end of the, uh, the rope. And if you grab anything else, it just doesn't count. Why can't it just be like Vine with me in Mario Party 3, where you only need to grab, like, any part of the vine? Or even the rope in Donkey Kong Country 1. At least that was fair. Alright, so I'm going to assume the key is actually in the upper left of the level. So I will go there first. Oh, okay, I can drop down here safely. Good to know. That bird was just flying really fast at that moment. That kind of freaked me out. Ha! Huh. Death from above. Death from a nut. Oh god. Is that barbed wire? Why is there barbed wire in such a cute game? What the actual frick? Oh my god, like, what is this protecting? It's just on a floating island for no reason. Why is this even here? Okay, there's a switch over here. Maybe that switch will help me get the key. Wait, do enemies respawn? Because I thought I killed that moth. Oh, whoa, okay. Okay, I can drop down here safely. I'm just taking my sweet ass time, just in case there's a key over here. Nope, I just literally loop back to the start. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. You know, just in case I fall into the barbed wire. Nope, enemies do not respawn. Oh god, th that looks creepy, having the nuts there to replace the eyes of the tree. I gotta admit, that must have scared a lot of people when they first saw that. Or maybe people weren't just absolute wimps back then. Maybe the older brother never really got to let his little brother play this game. It's like, 
you're gonna watch me beat the whole game so that it's not fun for you when you try it. You'll know where everything is. And then the kid like gets like 100% of all the coins. They're like, I hate you. <laughs> Better hope the internet is not a thing. Okay, maybe the keys are actually just the levers or the buttons. Which in this case I found two. Which is pretty awesome. You know what'd be awesome? Er, finding three. Find three buttons. All right. So by process of elimination. Wait, I have been up here, but I don't think I've taken the upper right path. I think that's where the third button is. You know, process of elimination and all that jizz-ass. Okay, maybe I should not use that, ever, that line ever again, because that's gross. That's a little crass, even for a guy that's named Mr. Nuts. I think we can go down now. It's my house now. It's like a flow rider song. There's another button, but I think that takes us that way. Oh my god, that's a big ass mole. I haven't seen a mole this big since Goldmember. Look at his eyes! They're just bulging out of his head. And this and little guy is like, yeah, my eyes are just fine. Because I'm not mutated. I don't have GMOs that make me grow super fast, okay? <laughs> oh, wow, that was bad. It's like, maybe you shouldn't have made fun of GMOs, Bunga. I swear, these moles kind of look like Banjo from Banjo-Kazooie. If he was a midget and naked. That is a her terrible mental image I just put in your head right there. And that was cruel for even me. Like, look at it! It's hideous! Yeah, mole shaming, you got a problem with that? Also, I hate these birds. They always seem to fly at like a point where they're harder to hit. Oh. That's where you get an extra life. Like, out of the blue. Well, I don't know how I'm gonna unlock that one. If I'm even gonna care to try. At least my nut flinging is pretty good. Oh, that's gonna be so taken out of context. Um, where's the exit? Oh, oh, thank god I was able to hit that guy right in the nose. I'm too afraid to just drop down, because what if there are just barbed wire and I die? Wait a minute, did I come from this way? No, I didn't. Because I would have grabbed these coins. Oh, there is the key! Oh, turns out there actually is a key. Well, I found it, so I guess we just gotta find the house. And then once we enter the house, we uh, take on the boss, and then I guess we're done. Well, this level at least. I don't know where the house is, though. Uh-oh. 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 Oh! I should have broken my legs doing this. What's in the house? A witch? Oh my god, what is that? Okay, you just jump on it, same as you would any other boss. It, it throws jack-o'-lanterns at you, which turn into monsters. Where did you get all these skulls? Did you just, like, hijack a graveyard? Well, at least you can just jump on the projectiles. 
I think those jack-o'-lantern zombies go away after a while. I can only take two more hits, unfortunately. Oh, gotcha. Turns out if you just jump on the jack-o'-lantern before it materializes, you don't... Wow. You don't have to worry about fighting that enemy. Oh, okay. You'll just give up. Yeah, I'd be scared of me too if I flung nuts around. Oh, nice. If I stay on this platform when he's on the left, I probably don't have to worry about the uh, skull so much. Like that attack pattern, it's easy to hit him. But on the left side, it's not as easy. Because this platform is just obviously a little bit lower. Okay, it's close. Okay, one hit each. There we go! Okay, I thought the game would just, like, uh, give me a raw deal. If I'm assuming I'm using the right phrase. And it would just kill me even though I can't move. I swear if it did that, I would have been so annoyed. Alright, we cleared that stage, and I got oh, only 48% of the coins in that level. Okay, so if you go through the house, you end up in hell. Good to know. The living room! Oh wait, no, this is actually the house. Um, we're gonna stop here. Wow, this house looks awful. And in the next episode, we'll enter this house. Wow, it's pretty large. Goodbye, everyone.